Hello, my friends. It's Nick in the A. S-M-R Nerd And welcome back to Night City in Cyberpunk 2077 This game has recently had a new expansion release for it, Phantom Liberty, and I may make a video in the new area in that expansion, Dogtown, but today, today we are exploring a different part of Night City. Today we're going to take a relaxing wander through what is a fairly unexpected part of Night City, a beautiful, lush park known as Reconciliation Park. This area is tucked away amongst towering skyscrapers, just adjacent to Corpo Plaza. And it is an oasis of greenery and calm and an otherwise very artificial city in a landscape full of metal and concrete, the trees of Reconciliation Park provide welcome respite and not only did the Phantom Liberty expansion release recently but alongside it we received a massive update to the game all kinds of changes but among them was the addition of even more advanced ray tracing or path tracing, a feature called ray reconstruction. And what this does is provide even more realistic lighting in many scenarios. And so I thought, that it would be a perfect time to revisit Night City, admire some of these incredible graphics, and enjoy this beautiful little oasis in the city. Here we have a vendor making a meager living what look like meat skewers, but I love the way the red glow of the grill emanates outward and illuminates and casts color on the vendor and surroundings. I don't have a particular plan for today's wander other than to admire these stunning graphics. The lighting is unbelievable sometimes. The way it realistically bounces around the environment, reflects and I don't think there's any other game out there that's doing 
lighting to the degree that cyberpunk is. Just look at the way the sunlight and shadow plays across the skyscrapers. It's honestly kind of breathtaking. This is quite the statue here. Obviously related to the Reconciliation Park theme, but what exactly it stands for, I couldn't say. But even the specular reflections on the statue are impressive. Although we are in this beautiful green oasis here, it's impossible to escape the squalor of the city entirely. There are many destitute individuals who call this park their home. But I suppose it beats living in a dingy back alley. At least it looks a bit nicer here. There's all kinds of graffiti here, of course. That's not terribly surprising. Lots of garbage which is a bit disappointing. But uh, I don't think most of the citizens of Night City are the type to care too much about picking up after themselves. No matter where you go in Night City, you are, of course, accosted by advertisements for all manner of products and services. But it does feel a bit more distant here in the park. Even if only slightly. Let's go for a wander over here. I think there's a nice forest path this way. One thing I have noticed with the new ray reconstruction is occasional flickering of shadows and instability in the lighting. It really depends on the subject and the scene. In fact, it does seem to be a bit worse here in the park than elsewhere in the city. Looks like we've got a few gang members up ahead, which would not make for the most relaxing encounter. So why don't we hit off the path here? Go off-roading a little bit.
evening is falling slowly. The sun is slipping down. One of the standout features of ray reconstruction is its ability to produce much more accurate and detailed reflections of the surrounding environment. And unfortunately, the water here does not give that great an example because it's pretty ripply. But if we can find a glass surface, perhaps you'll see what I mean. Look at that lighting though. Speaking of the graffiti in the park, we've got a couple of folks uh, in action here. Well, they're really going for it. This guy's feeling it. <laughs> He's like lunging at everything. The uh, lady over here looks like she's had better days. So I think we kind of just did a circle, like a big loop. But there is more to the park over this way, including a gorgeous pagoda. Evidently, this part of the city has been a park for a very long time, decades. And despite the devastation suffered by Night City at various points in its history, the park remains. Look at the lighting on the underside of the roof here, this pagoda. The detail and all the shadows. Just how accurate all that lighting is. And then of course, there's this strange obelisk. A piece of art, one must assume, but beautifully underlit and subtly reflective. It looks like it's polished, especially near the top. But the way in which this game tricks the eye these days. The realism with which these scenes are lit is truly remarkable. As I said earlier, I don't think any other game goes to these lengths 
when it comes to full path tracing and global illumination. That's a little hop here. <laughs> Maybe a second hop. This part of the path is gorgeous. There's something deeply dark and ironic about someone laying here on a bench with a VR headset strapped to their face while all around them is this beautiful park and the rippling water these pine trees with so much character it's quite peaceful sun enjoying nature here in the park well nature such as it is it's about all you can get here in night city Seeing this engine displaying these trees, this natural environment, it makes me wish that there were more areas like this in the game, or that CD Projekt Red would take this tech and apply it to a game with more natural areas. but. I don't think we'll ever see that because I believe they're switching to Unreal Engine 5 after this. No more red engine. Handful of hoodlums. Hanging out, drinking, smoking. Honestly, compared to most people in this city, they are not too bad. traditional design of this roof is fascinatingly juxtaposed against the collection of cyberpunk vending machines underneath <laughs> selling burritos and more. Samaritans that are out here cleaning up the park. That seems unlikely, but one never knows. One never knows. The way the ambient light bounces and illuminates the underside of this overpass is quite something. Lots of amazing indirect lighting on display here. Even the way the light 
from this lady's phone illuminates her face from below. She's like, what are you looking at? some gangsters up ahead as well. So maybe we best just head off the path to avoid a confrontation. And this person looks like they're having a fun time. looped back around to somewhere we've already been. Yes, indeed. Because here is that statue. Once again. As you can see, it is but a small slice of nature here in Night City, but it is pleasant and quite unlike anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, I quite like it. There's a couple of fellows down here having a little boxing practice. And with that, we find ourselves back where we started once again. So I think, I think this is where we will end the video for today. We took a little wander around Reconciliation Park here, enjoyed a breath of fresh air, a little bit of nature, this otherwise very artificial city, and we got to enjoy some of the fancy new tech that CD Projekt Red has put into Cyberpunk with the latest update. Well, my friends, I do hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting and beautiful. But above all, I hope you found it relaxing. And I look very forward to having you back here next time. Farewell for now, my friends.
And of course, no video would be complete without thanking the real chooms who make this possible. A big shout out, a special thanks, one might even say, to our channel supporters on Patreon and YouTube memberships. You can see their names right here. They are all amazing folks, and I appreciate their support so very, very much. If you are interested in supporting what I do here on this channel, if you have ever derived any enjoyment or relaxation and would like to see me do more of what I love to make here and what you hopefully love to watch and listen to, well, consider checking out the links down below at the top of the video description. You will find links to my Patreon and YouTube memberships there. Each has perks which you can enjoy if you sign up, such as early access to my weekend videos, and at higher tiers, you get to vote on a monthly video topic, pick a topic of your choice, and at the very highest tier, the Fusroda tier, you even get a very special spoken shout out in each of my videos. And it is my immense honor to read out the names of our Fusroda tier supporters for this video. Starting with Odinson, Rango Steel, K Time, Drummer Brit, Jake Luffney, Angel Garcia, and Ragnar Ragnarsson. An incredible group of amazing people. Like I said, they're the real chooms, and I appreciate their support so very, very much. Once again, a big old shout out to all of this channel's wonderful supporters.